In modern network construction, gigabit networks still play a vital role, with copper modules and fiber modules being two common transmission methods. So, how should we choose between them for different applications? What are their differences? First, let's understand their transmission methods. Copper modules use standard Ethernet cables to transmit electrical signals without requiring optical electrical conversion, as data is directly transmitted through copper cables. On the other hand, fiber modules consist of functional circuits and optical interfaces, integrating both transmission and reception. The transmitting end converts electrical signals from the device into optical signals, while the receiving end converts the optical signals back into electrical signals for the device. From the appearance, their interfaces are different. Copper modules feature an RJ45 connector, whereas fiber modules come in various types such as LC and SC. The cables they use also vary. Copper modules are paired with Ethernet cables like CAT5e or CAT6, while fiber modules require fiber optic cables. For example, multimode SFP fiber modules such as 1GSX modules are used with O3 or OM4 fiber optic cables, whereas single-mode SFP modules such as 1GLX modules are compatible with OS2 fiber optic cables. So when they are connected, their transmission distances are also different. Copper modules are suitable for short-distance transmission within 100 meters, such as office networks or connections between server racks in a data center. Fiber modules, however, support long-distance transmission, with 1G fiber modules capable of reaching up to 150 kilometers, making them ideal for cross-building, campus networks, or long-distance surveillance camera feeds. In addition, their prices are also different. According to data from QSFP Tech's official website, a 1G copper module costs 11.9, while 1G SX and LX fiber modules are priced at 6.9, and 1G EX and ZX fiber modules at 19.9. The price difference isn't substantial, but the choice depends on the module type. While the cheapest SX fiber module may seem cost-effective, users with existing Ethernet cabling would need additional equipment, such as media converters, increasing overall costs. Therefore, for homes or offices already wired with Ethernet cables, copper modules are more convenient. In our use, fiber modules are more resistant to interference than copper modules because copper modules are susceptible to electromagnetic interference, such as packet loss near motors. Moreover, fiber modules have lower transmission latency as light signals travel closer to the speed of light, making them suitable for latency-sensitive applications like high-frequency trading or real-time video streaming. In summary, both SFP copper and fiber modules have their advantages and limitations. For short distance, cost-effective needs, copper modules are ideal. If the requirement is long distance and high stability, the fiber module is more worth investing in. All right, that's it. If you think this video is helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.